Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat My Shorts. I hope you've been having a good day. I've been pretty busy here today. I've been chopping peppers and grinding pepper powder the better part of the day. I had a little bit of a nap this afternoon, but I was able to pull out of that tiredness zone and got some more stuff taken care of. But I really want to eat a pepper. This is a red Maruga scorpion growing out in the yard. This is that big plant that started out tiny on the patio and I've actually been keeping it in the greenhouse even still. It's all done now, but this is that one that I wasn't sure if I was going to get any ripened peppers from. Have a look at that. That's a nasty looking pepper for sure. I'm really excited to eat this. So red Maruga scorpion, the average Scoville heat unit is 1.2 million and the maximum they typically top out around 2 million Scoville heat units. So quite a range there really. Awesome shape. I really like the look of this one. I actually do have one other one that's got more of a, the tail's kind of leaning to the side. I should have even brought it over but this one's a little bit bigger and it's more the stereotypical shape of a red Maruga scorpion, I suppose. So anyways, I'm gonna cut this open. I'm not gonna bother saving seeds from it. I don't, I'm sure I have some in the seed bank. I'm not actually sure about that, but we're just gonna go with it. I have more peppers still in the fridge. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I was actually gifted some more peppers from my buddy James at Stone Pepper Kitchen. He came by the other day. I don't know if I even actually said anything about this. We had a hangout and he dropped off some more goodies and a good size bag of super hot peppers. Two different varieties. There's that peach ghost reaper jammy, I think it was called. And those crown of thorns peppers, which I actually, have I eaten that one? Yes, I have. It's the BBM that I still have to eat. I get some of the chocolate peppers mixed up. Oh, it smells very hot. <laughs> it's quite oily on the inside. There's actually a surprising amount of seeds in there. Get it open just a little bit more so you can really see in there. Fair amount of seeds. Not sure if you'll be able to see that oil in there. It's quite oily on the inside, but you can't really see it. That's okay. I can see it. Well, let's see how lit up I get from this. I'm going to be honest with you. I am anticipating some cramps from this because it's a little later in the day that I usually eat stuff this hot lately. And uh, I already have like a touch, almost, almost cramps. You know that feeling when it's like right here and it's just that tightness? Yeah, you call this playing with fire. <laughs> Red Maruga Scorpion, homegrown from out in the yard there. Heat my shorts. <laughs> it's quite sweet, but it's very floral. Very bitter, like soapy, 
floral. A bit of sweetness. Very hot. The tongue, the gums, the lower lip, the roof of the mouth, the throat, down in the chest. That's a hot pepper. That one is very hot. Cool. That's a searing hot pepper. That is, that's wild. Wow. Okay. Flavorating on that. Let me give that like a five out of 10. Heat. Also a five. It's burning around my eyes. That's very hot. And it's still raising too. Oh. Still little bits of pepper in my mouth. Oh. Wow. Throat burn's really increasing. That's a hot one. I don't really feel like talking too much right now. I think I'm at a six out of 10 on my heat level. Seven minutes right now. I'll hang out for a few more minutes, but not too terribly long. Really, no need to. <sighs> Still sitting around a six out of ten, I think. Maybe even a six and a half at this point. Eyes are starting to water quite a bit. Almost ready to start streaming down the face there. Wow. The lo lower lip kind of gums burn is increasing. Tears are starting to stream down my face now. That is a very hot pepper. Very hot pepper. Throat burn has increased more now that throat and chest. Wow. Starting to get a little bit floaty feeling, which is either endorphins or vertigo. I'm not sure which. Hopefully some endorphins with no vertigo. That'd be nice. Eyes are really starting to water now. Feeling okay. Definitely feeling okay, but it's, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Not really too much else to talk about. Um, let's see here. Yeah, really all I got taken care of today was dealt with some peppers. Um, that was about it. That's okay. I think I'm back down to a six. I think I said six and a half before, maybe. It's eased off a little bit. Yeah, it's eased off a little bit. <sighs> I'm not sure if that, that must mean that that was endorphins then, because I don't feel dizzy. I feel relieved. Yeah, totally. Um, down to a, down to a four now. Yeah, probably out of four now. Just, just honestly like that. It's still spicy. Tip of the tongue is quite lit up. Throat's quite lit up. But 
it's just a different feeling now. There's just a level of calmness has washed over me. And that's when it helps my back pain. That's that magical sweet spot. Hopefully I don't get any cramps from this because that when that's when I've overdone it. If I can maintain that endorphin rush without getting a getting a, uh, a cramp wave. I mean, even if I do get the cramps later, at least I've got that endorphin rush now. And that usually helps my back pain. And a wave of cramps usually brings on more endorphins as well. The throat burn is still quite intense, but it's very manageable now. I'm going to say that's definitely the endorphins. That's quite awesome. That's, that's so cool. I mean, cool. It's interesting. It's, it's amazing, really. Because it, it does wonders for my back pain. I'll probably have a great sleep tonight as long as I don't have cramps. Definitely pretty sweaty from that. Well, it's been a few minutes, four or five minutes, I don't even know. We'll have a little hangout with Maggie and get this video wrapped up. <laughs> that was a good pepper. That got me pretty lit up. Probably, yeah, I'm down to a four out of 10 now, I think. Like, tincture, average tincture video level heat right now. Oh. <laughs> And who is this? Hi, little dog. Hi, little doggy. She was actually begging for the pepper. I had a, I had a, a blooper. She came over and she was asking for the pepper, and then she took off anyway. So it's like, well, that was kind of weird. But she wanted the pepper. She thought it was. She probably thought it was a strawberry, to be honest. Pardon me. A little pepper burp there. A little pepper burp. What a good dog. Anyways, oh, she just did her funny, cute little wiggle. She's so funny. Go back over here, I'm walking in circles. It kind of feels like it. <laughs> I basically did walk in a circle, actually. <laughs> Anyways, that was fun. That was quite the little ride for sure. Red Maruga Scorpion, that got me quite lit up. Oh, my ears just started ringing. That's neat. <laughs> that must be the endorphin rush. I don't. I really don't know. That doesn't usually happen to me. The ears ringing. Anyways, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, I'm going to leave a link to Stoned Pepper Kitchen on Facebook. Hop over there, give him a subscribe or a follow rather and talk to him about some of his excellent products. He's got a lot of great stuff to offer. He's a great guy too. Up here, some videos, some content, some playlists for you to click and enjoy. Hope you all have a great day or night. I love you all very much and we will hang out again soon. I promise, this has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show, bye bye.